Happy Halloween, little pandas. Today, we are going to spookify a Littlest Pet Shop character. Let's turn it around and see who it is. It is Wallace Waterman and Sally. And today, we are going to customize Wallace here and we are gonna make him into a spooky, vampire and to start off i am removing wallace's nose and his littlest pet shop stamp using acetone now to paint wallace's face i used a mixture of gray and white and so you can see just a little bit of gray when you compare it to the actual white because we all know vampires are the walking undead so I wanted to give his face like a really pasty ghastly spooky effect and I think that this uh, gray color is awesome for a vampire and so I am gonna actually have to put two coats of the gray all over the face here and when you're going around the eyes, try to be careful, but if you get inside the eye, not too big of a deal. We can just go in with black paint later. So once you have the face filled in, we're gonna start with the hair. And vampires have this really cool, slick, like big V running down the front of their forehead. And then they have, they always have in all the movies, um, all the cartoons at least, jet black hair. So that's what we are going to give him. I'm just outlining where his hair is gonna be painted in. And then I'm gonna go and define the eyes cause I got some paint on them. And then fill in all of the hair, the black, is really thick so you only need a one coat of paint here and you'll get full coverage and i don't really like the v shape that i originally have so i'm just going to go in here and kind of make it a little more sharp and here it is and um, the front of Wallace are his hands, so I'm using the exact same color to paint his little fins like their hands. And his walrus tusks have now become vampire fangs. So I am painting them with white paint to give them some definition. And I guess if you wanted to get really crazy, you could put little drops of red like blood if you wanted to, but I like it like this. And go in here with a really fine brush, paint on his eyebrows. I'm gonna try and give him some like spooky looking eyebrows. Let's see what, how they come out. Next is going to be the vampire jacket. So vampires usually have a super cool like tuxedo on. So to give him that tuxedo effect, I'm painting the front white. And you're gonna wanna put like two or three coats of white to make sure you get full coverage, let it dry. And then we're gonna go in here with red and draw in the super awesome vest because vampires always dress really sharp with their suits and their vests and their ties, but we're not gonna give uh, Wallace a tie today, but we are gonna give him a vest and I'm using red because the classic cartoon vampires always wear red. So get like a W shape in there and then fill it in. Now I'm taking the black and I am kind of drawing in Wallace's like cuffs to his sleeves on the side by his fin and then I am defining where the front of his jacket is by putting two straight black lines and then we're gonna paint all of Wallace black because he's wearing a tuxedo now because he is being transformed into a custom vampire. And so using my really thin black brush, I'm drawing in two small buttons 
on Wallace's tuxedo. And what's a cool name for Wallace? Wallace the Vampire, Count Wacula. I don't know, what's a good what's a good name for Wallace? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. So now I'm working, uh, we need to work on Wallace's eyes. So I think vampires, when I think of vampires, I think like creepy yellow eyes. So I have taken a bright yellow and bright green, mixed them together, and created this like, um, like a citron yellowy green color. And I'm using this color and I am filling in all of Wallace's pupil where it's dark blue. Ooh, he's looking a little creepy. And I'm using yellow with no green in it, just solid yellow to draw in uh, some definition in his eyes. And we'll do that to both eyes and he is all done. His transformation from normal to spooktacular. And I love it. I think he came out amazing. Spooky Wallace. I like Count Wacula. If you have a better name for him, let me know in the comments below. He came out super awesome. I'm loving this one. And here he is. I love those eyes. And if you have any requests for other Halloween themed uh, My Loveless Pet Shops, just let me know down in the comments below and I can see if that's something I can do for you. Thank you so much for watching this little pandas. Have a safe and happy Halloween.